Hi everyone. We hope that you know that you should stay away from wild animals, especially carnivorous ones. However, many of them, even the most dangerous, can be tame, or more specifically, trained. Unfortunately, people forget quite often that an animal will always be a wild creature, no matter what, and at some point it can show its true nature. So, here are five beasts that killed their trainers. Let's get it on. Rocky the Bear In April 2008, Rocky was only a five-year-old little bear who had never shown any sign of hostility. But one day during the shooting of the movie Semi Pro, the bear went mad and attacked the experienced tamer and stunt double Stefan Miller, biting his neck. The crew could drive the beast off and the victim even managed to stand up and run away. The wound was too bad though, and in a few seconds his legs grew weak, he fell down and never stood up again. Tilikum the Orca This is the most famous killer whale in the world. Tilikum has been involved in the death of at least three people. His first victim was 21-year-old trainer Kelty Byrne. In 1991, during a show, Tilly and two of his fellas dragged the poor girl underwater and drowned her. On the other hand, it was reported later that the two other orcas were pregnant, so probably they were just protecting their future offspring. And then, Tilikum went on killing. Eight years later, his next victim became 27-year-old visitor Daniel Jukes. This clever bloke decided to hide in the park in order to slip into the pool at night. How on earth did that thought enter his mind? And who knows what he was trying to do? Anyway, the next morning, the Oceanarium staff found his body in the pool. Forensics say that he drowned and died of exposure. The autopsy revealed many multiple injuries, bruises and scratches, including the ones done by the orca. The third murder took place on February 24, 2010. Oddly enough, this time the victim was experienced 40-year-old trainer Dawn Branchot. Right in front of a huge audience, Tilikum drowned her and went on torturing her body. She had her jaw, ribs and neck bones broken, and the spinal cord ripped. Actually, Tilly tried to kill his tamers a lot of times, but in most of the cases it ended well. Overall, Tilikum and his fellas were involved in about 70 accidents that took place at the Oceanarium. They jumped on people, bunged them, tried to drown them, and did all kinds of stuff to them. In 2013, a documentary about Tilikum called Blackfish was released, and it immediately caused an eruption of protest against the Oceanarium. Apparently, keeping orca whales in captivity makes them aggressive. Grizzly Bears Timothy Treadwell was an amateur naturalist and ecologist. He was very fond of grizzly bears and loved to film documentaries about them, urging people to save their population. Thus, he established a reputation as a brave naturalist. He would often got close to the bears, touched them, and even played with the baby bears. This guy ignored the simplest safety measures and was criticized for it, but he didn't give a shit, and called bears his friends. But in October 2013, his friends ate him alive. Oh, and they ate his girlfriend, too. Their bodies were found in a camp in Katmai Park, Alaska. They were dismembered and gnawed. Soon, the killer bears were found and shot down. Also, their bellies were opened, and human body parts were found in there. How nice, just like Little Red Riding Hood. A pack of wolves. This incident took place in a zoo in Sweden. A girl keeper entered a cage with eight wild wolves in it. She knew them from birth, she raised them herself, and she thought that they had really strong ties with her. But the wolves thought otherwise. They simply fell onto the woman. The other workers could not even get close to the cage because the animals were in a state of extreme hostility. When they managed to drive away the pack of wolves, the girl was already dead. Malayan Tiger Another story of a person who thought, these are not wild animals, these are my friends. Stacy Conweiser, a 38-year-old tiger keeper on the Palm Beach Zoo in California, was known as the Tiger Charmer. It's said that she could talk with the tigers in a language only they could understand. Nevertheless, her last conversation with this big kitty cat didn't turn out well. The tiger went mad, leaving Stacy with no chance to live. King Cobra a snake charmer has to hypnotize them with some sort of magical relaxing power, right? That is basically the point. Malaysian artist Ali Khan Samsudin was known as the Snake and Scorpion King. One time, he locked himself up with 400 cobras every day for 40 days. Cool! And then he went further and spent 21 days in a glass enclosure with 6,000 scorpions. 
Thanks to that, he's listed in the Guinness Book of Records, but apparently no charm worked on the King Cobra. In 2006, during a performance, the snake bit Khan right in the eye, for the amusement of the crowd. Although help arrived on time, Ali died anyway at the hospital. Elephant Is there a better and merrier plan than going to a street festival where you can see a huge elephant? Well, in India, that is surely considered a great party. Traditions and so on. Anyway, it is great. But it's not so funny when the elephant, tired of the crowd and the loud music, tramples everyone around him and kills his owner, while the viewers run away trying to get out of there alive. That is exactly what happened in the state of Kerala, India in 2008. Apparently, everything was okay, until suddenly, for unknown reasons, one of the elephants went bananas and began attacking the people. First, he killed his owner. Then, he attacked a guy with his tusks, threw him in the air and ran over him. After that, he threw him again and ran over him one more time. That repeats for quite a long time, and the guy has no chance to survive. But killing a man is not enough, apparently, and so the elephant decides to attack another elephant, rolling him on the sand. Unfortunately, the second elephant manages to get up and escape from the place. After that, the bloodthirsty elephant switches to human killing mode again, he stormed for three more hours. On the whole, two men were killed and 20 got all kinds of injuries. These stories prove that a person cannot be a wild animal's best friend, no matter how hard he tries or wants to. Please don't think that you have power over the nature of these animals. Their savage instincts can awake at any moment. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.